Have you ever noticed how as we age, people seem to mumble more? It couldn't be our hearing. I hear just fine, except for the fact that I have to strain to hear conversations and the television. As we grow older we naturally experience some hearing loss, a sequel to exposure to loud sounds like music or environmental sounds damaging the hearing mechanism. Cats can have hearing loss too. Most hearing problems in cats are associated with aging but other less common causes may occur and often very mature cats become completely deaf. In most cases of age-related hearing loss, deafness occurs as a result of damage to the ear system and nerves. It is primarily a degenerative change. Hearing may also be diminished by obstructions in the ear such as debris, infections, masses or even medications. These should all be ruled out before making a diagnosis of degenerative hearing loss. A note about whiskers. A cat's senses are much more sophisticated than our dull wits. Their magnificent whiskers are super sensitive at detecting vibration, including the air disturbed when you're banging pan lids together. So when testing your cat's hearing, take great care not to disturb their whiskers. The cat may not hear the sound with their ears, but they may feel vibration with their whiskers. To avoid this, try standing with your back to the cat to shield them from air movement. What are the signs of hearing loss? Clinical signs of hearing loss in cats can be somewhat subtle and owners are often unaware of changes until they are very advanced. Early signs of deafness may include A lack of response to everyday sounds that would ordinarily elicit a response, opening a can of food or shaking a bag of treats. Not hearing your footsteps when you come close. Being a very sound sleeper. Meowing very loudly. Failure to respond when called. Causes. There are a number of reasons a cat might become deaf. Your vet will help you determine the likely cause and appropriate treatment. Cats with a white coat and blue eyes have a higher risk of being born deaf. This is particularly true of breeds such as Persians, Scottish Folds, Ragdolls, Cornish Rex, Devon Rex, Oriental Shorthair, Turkish Angora, Maine Coon and Manx. Just as many humans lose their hearing as they age, so do cats. This is due to the delicate structures of the inner ear losing their sensitivity to vibration. Age-related hearing may develop very gradually, and can sometimes take longer to diagnose. A number of underlying physical illnesses can cause hearing loss, usually because the condition is somehow preventing sound waves from reaching the nerves in the ear. This includes Inflammation of the inner or outer ear Infectious diseases Degenerative nerve changes Tumors or cancer that affect the nerves in the ear Trauma to the ear Some medications, such as antiseptics and chemotherapy drugs can affect your cat's hearing. Medications that remove excess fluid from the body can also affect hearing, as can heavy metals such as arsenic, lead or mercury. How can my cat be tested for hearing loss? Sophisticated tests are available and may be of value when evaluating kittens for the potential of breeding, but they have no bearing on the treatment or outcome. Your vet might administer a test called the Brainstem Auditory Evoked Response, Bear one It's a painless procedure but can be expensive so ask your veterinarian to try other evaluations first. Examples of test include Tear a piece of paper behind the cat's head. Make sure you don't touch the cat, but he should turn and respond. Crackle a bit of tin foil or jingle a bunch of keys when he is sleeping or not looking. This tests high-frequency hearing. Hiss. This is a universal danger sound. Shield your breath with a tissue or clothes so he can't feel you blowing. Tap a cardboard box or something that makes a drumming noise to test low-frequency hearing. Hello. Look this video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. Deafness and cat behavior. Deaf cats can feel vulnerable to predators. This can make them anxious or nervous, which in turn may make them seem more aggressive. This isn't a case of the cat becoming nasty. It's more that, when taken by surprise, the cat may lash out in self-defense. Deaf cats may also sleep longer and more deeply without everyday noises to disturb them. Actually, their sleep can seem alarmingly deep at times. Diagnosis A simple test to determine if your cat is deaf is to loudly clap your hands while he or she is facing away from you. If there is no response, it is probably time to see the vet. Your vet will ask you for a thorough history of your cat's health, onset of symptoms, and possible incidents that might have preceded this condition. They will perform a thorough physical examination, including examining your cat's ear canal with the use of an otoscope. In some situations sedation or an anesthetic will be required to examine the ear canal thoroughly, especially if it is painful or your cat is a bit wriggly. 
There may also be the need for further investigation via the use of radiographs or MRI to help assess the middle and inner ear. Living with deaf cats. It is quite easy to accommodate the needs of cats with congenital deafness, as they will automatically use their other senses to take in information and communicate. However, if your cat has only recently become deaf or is suffering gradual and partial hearing loss, it can take a little longer for both you and them to adjust to their condition. Keep your cat inside. If your cat has become profoundly deaf, the outside world can be very dangerous. He or she won't be able to hear noises such as other pets including dogs, motor vehicles and other moving objects and will be at greater risk of injury. The safest option is to train your cat to stay indoors. This may require some adjustment to routine, such as retraining your cat to use kitty litter, if he or she usually goes outside. Use visual cues. For deaf cats, you will need to replace oral cues, such as using your voice to call them, with visual cues. For example, if you would like your cat to come to you, crouch down and motion with your hand. Or, if it is time for dinner, create a signal the cat will learn to understand, like flicking the porch light a few times quickly. Cats are quick learners and will readily respond to hand signals, laser pointers or household lights. Approach gently. Deaf cats startle easily. To avoid them becoming frightened, always approach your cat from the front where he or she can see you coming. Deeply bonded cats become more affectionate, or even needy, to their people. It's as if their trust makes them seek you out for reassurance. Use touch and vibration. Deaf cats will rely heavily on their other senses to take in information. To get your cat's attention, try stomping firmly on the floor, as this will be felt as a vibration. You can then try a variety of visual cues to communicate. Play. Deaf cats, like all cats, love to play. Continue to play hunting and chasing games as you would with a hearing cat. It will keep him or her active and also strengthen the bond between you both. Deaf cats just like deaf people are sometimes at increased risks, especially outdoors. They cannot hear an oncoming car. They cannot hear another cat that may be aggressive or a dog that may pose a threat. For this reason alone it is particularly important that hearing impaired cats be kept indoors unless on a leash. Similarly, deaf cats cannot hear their owners calling them and should they wander away they can be very difficult to find and return. All cats should be implanted with an identifying microchip but this is particularly critical for deaf or blind cats. A deaf cat can still be a great pet. He will just need more affection, patience and a few more I love you signals. If you have any questions or concerns, you should always visit or call your veterinarian, they are your best resource to ensure the health and well-being of your pets. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.